Hello guys, I'm going to my new YouTube video for today. And as you can see on today's video, Brie Larson as Samus Aran, my thoughts. Hmm. I know I'm like three weeks late about this, but I saw Robert Storm's video about the topic. Shout out to Robert Storms. Go subscribe to him. He's a really good YouTuber. And he agreed that Brie Larson will be a good candidate to be Samus on a live action Metroid movie. And I agree with him. She's a really good actress. Um, I really like Captain Marvel. Many people didn't like the movie because they said that she didn't show emotion. But I'm like, guys, if, if you're brainwashed, you're going to be confused of who you are and, and like what's going on. So you're supposed to be looking scared and confused. Not like, hey, I just lost my memory. I don't know who the hell I am. But hey, keep smiling. No, nah, no. Nah. <clears throat> You know, you need to be confused and scared the fudge of what's going on, of like who you are and stuff. All right. <clears throat> so me and Robert Storms agree that Brie Larson will be a good candidate to be Samus Aran. Uh, she said that she would like to be that role in a live Metroid movie because um, she played, uh, well, she knows the character and she's a big Nintendo fan. And she may not know the character a lot or something, but she said that she played Samus in Super Smash Bros. Back in the day, so 64, so like in 1999, I think it was 1999. So, uh, the January for the film, me and my cousin were talking about this, and we both agreed that the January would be horror, space horror action, space horror action. Uh, burn me right now in the comment section. I haven't played any Metroid game at all. Metroid is my childhood. I know the character and like I know what's going on, but I've never played any Metroid game before. So go down on the comment section right now and like burn me type like what the heck and, and type like, oh, what the heck's wrong with you? Like you suck. You call yourself a gamer, you know, uh, and many people on the comment section from the Robertson video said that they do agree also, like they can see Brie Larson being uh, Samus. And that um, if, if they do do a movie one day, uh, they can work it out as the Mandalorian, like, you know, like Samus in the space, uh, space suit, power suit. Don't take off the helmet a lot, like at all. And like, you know, like on the last minute of, of the film, Take off the helmet and, re and reveal that you're a woman. You know, like in the Metroid game back in the day, in the NES. Like, you know, like she takes off the power suit and then she's like, what is that you? Like, that would be pretty interesting. And, oh my god. I was gonna, I lost my train of thought, but. Oh my god. I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, oh yeah, um, I really like the character. Um, she's a really badass woman. You know, like, if you see Samus walking down the street, like, do not go, like, don't even say hi, because, um, and, and, like, this is where I lost my turn of thought, but it just came back. Uh, Samus is a silent character, so in the movie, uh, Brie Larson would have little to no dialogue whatsoever, just, like, face, face expressions, and just destroying Metroids. Um... Because, um, again, Samus is like, a, she she doesn't really talk. She she may talk, but just like a bit, but not like all the time. But just be like, silent protagonist. Um, that could work. I mean, like in the games, it's just like, like dropping her off in this planet, destroying Metroids, no dialogue, and it'll work. Um, that could be adapted to the film. Uh, just have her go to like her ship, go to like the planet where the Madrids are, and just like you know, boom, 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 boom. No dialogue. Uh, maybe just a bit from her just being like, oh, I'm not, like to base or something, but like little, little to no dialogue, and just like explosion, explosion. Uh, have the aliens, you know, like tell the story of what's going on. Because, again, Samus is a sunny character, so, like, you know, just blast stuff in the movie. And then, like, you know, you get the idea of what's going on. And then, like, how I said, like, when the movie ends, just, like, take take off the helmet and just wave at, at the viewer, like, in the game. And 
if you think about it, and this is the last part, um, Brie Larson does look like Samus a bit. I mean, I, I can totally see her. Like, now that I think about it, she does look like Samus a bit. Uh, she hits the face, but she doesn't have, like, the ponytail and the, I'm sorry, I don't know, hairstyles, but, like, I'm, I'm just going to call it bangs. Like, bangs that run across her, like, ears, like, like on, on, on her sides, obviously. But, yeah, like, now that I think about it, um, Brie Larson does kind of look like Samus. So, Nintendo, you have your real-life Samus. So if you one day decide to do a movie Nintendo, I'll put her on your list as like top five or something. And there you guys have it. Me and Robert Storms agree that Brie Larson may, will be a good Samus for a live action Metroid film. And that's it. Alright guys, thanks for watching my video and until next time guys, peace.